Let's go over creating a website on a web server. First thing we want to do is go into the DNS manager, expand our server, check the forward lookup zone, and check the main website domain. Right click on that and create a new alias. We're going to make this one shampoo, just because. Now for the target host, we need to tell the DNS manager where to point this request. So we're going to point it to this server on this domain. Click OK. So now the DNS knows where to point the request when it is received. Next thing we need to do is actually create a physical location for that request. We've got one called conditioner. Let's create another one called shampoo. And then inside that folder, we need a, an HTML document. Named default.htm. So once we have a physical location containing the website, we can go to our IIS manager, right click on sites, and add a website. The physical path is wherever you choose to place it. Click OK. And we're going to go ahead and connect as a specific user. Test the connection. Looks good. All right. And for host name, and that's what we want people to see uh, and be able to type in. So click OK. And then if necessary, click Start. And you can select it and click Browse Website, and it'll take you straight to it. As you can see, here's the HTML document that we created. But just to further illustrate the point, let's go into our other server here. It's a totally different computer. And open up Internet Explorer and type in the address that we want to go to. Shampoo.com.contoso.com And the request is sent to the DNS server. The DNS uh, determines which server to send it to. That web server uses this host header to determine which physical address to go to. And then we end up right here. So if we change the host header to conditioner and hit enter, it directs us to the appropriate page. And if we type in www, there you go. That's all there is to it.